Hey folks, everything new under the sun. Well, there's a lot of reasons why you should upgrade to Catalina, Mac OS Catalina, the latest one coming this fall from Apple for your Macintosh, whatever it may be. Now, I'm running a 27-inch iMac. It is a late 2013 model. It is fully capable of running Catalina. But I will tell you the number one reason I uh, will not and cannot upgrade, and a large part of that is due to 32-bit software and apps that I'm using. So there's a lot of cool features in uh, macOS Catalina. There's a lot of uh, great options. There's some screen sharing. They go, they move out of iTunes and go to dedicated um, apps for podcasts and music and movies. There's various various other uh, features. They also allow a lot more iPad apps to be able to be transferred over, um, and uh, it's more secure. Lots of good things about it. Some things you may not know, uh, and the biggest uh, deal for me is this right here. And this is my number one reason why I'm not going to uh, upgrade to Catalina. Not because uh, um, I don't want to necessarily, but because I can't because of the software I'm using. And I'm going to show you some of that software. So the let me uh, zoom in here. And I did a video about how to check what apps you're running so you can uh, determine what exactly you're running. Um, to to see if you can upgrade and especially to see if the vendors that provide the apps that you're using to see if they have new versions of it that are supported that are 64 bit I know I'm running lots of old software and I'm going to show you some examples of that but here's the detail and you can go to um, Apple site and uh, review all the new features but this particular one is from Mac rumors um, dot Mac rumors uh, dot com <clears throat> and this is the biggest thing Look at this, your 32-bit apps are no longer going to work in macOS Catalina, and you will get a warning uh, when you install the update. macOS Catalina supports 64-bit apps only, and that means some of your older apps uh, that haven't been updated for a while won't run at all. Um, the dashboard feature is one that has uh, isn't working. I'll show you an example. So this is an example of um, a 7x zip program. This is the kind of error you get currently in Mojave, when you're running a 32-bit app, it will still work, but they warn you this app will not work in with future versions of Mac OS and needs to be updated to improve co uh, compatibility. So apparently this warning has been coming up at least in High Sierra as well, the prior version of, of uh, Mac OS. I, and I went through a video of how to determine uh, uh, which of uh, your apps are 32-bit. So let me get rid of this, um, and that's going to uh, load that up. Here's another app that I'm using, Disk Inventory. It's not optimized. Get rid of that. But uh, to find this list of uh, non-64-bit uh, apps, you can look at this. Um, this is um, the uh, system report. So you click the Apple, you click about this Mac. Um, when that comes up, uh, you click System Report. And then under Software, you click Applications. And this loads all your applications. And then you can sort this list by 64-bit um, ascending. And you get all the non 64 bit items at the top. So, uh, 7ZX, the zip program. You've got various other programs, which I've went through iDVD. Of course, some of them are just plain. But one of the big ones for me is even iWeb. Um, I actually use iWeb. You can see it down in the uh, bottom left. I actually use this um, um, to make uh, money. And so, this is still a money making uh, tool for me. Even though it's very, very outdated and they're not updating it anymore, I still use this and they will not be updating it. That's mean, that means I would have to Con, I would have to convert this website to WordPress, and uh, of course, many will say that. Well, I absolutely probably should, but you know what? If it's working right now and the customer's happy, um, then it, it's not a reason uh, that I, I would want to change it up and spend an, a large number of man hours to update this site, convert it over, have a completely new look, etc. So, like I say, this system report in the applications link will show you all the applications that you're using that are not. 30, uh, that are not 64-bit, indeed are 32-bit, and therefore won't work. Another one of these applications, let me close iWeb. So iWeb is an old one, not, not a lot of people use these. But one piece of software I have is this uh, Transmit. This is FTP software. Now FTP technology and uh, uh, capability hasn't really changed much in recent years. And so this old version of Transmit, let's see, is this version, yeah, this is version 3. They're up to version... Uh, five now, which very much, uh, very likely is 64-bit, 
but I already paid for this version of Transmit, and it's FTP software, so it's nothing special, and it won't do anything special in the new version outside of me paying about sixty or seventy dollars Canadian to get it. So this version is fine, although this third version is thirty-two bit, um, and so this is not going to work in Catalina, and I use this quite a bit again for business requirements. So this is not a piece of software that I am willing to lose uh, because I would have to pay uh, for it. Another one is Disk Inventory X and this is software uh, yes, click allow. This is software that shows all the uh, data on your hard drive and kind of uh, makes it into color code so you can see what's taking up hard drive space. It's a helpful app every now and then but it's 32-bit so it's not going to work. Look at Stuff It Expander, uh, a zip expander that's 32-bit. It's not going to work. Another one, OpenOffice. Now, they probably have an updated version, but I have version 3 uh, according to this, and that is 32-bit, so that's not going to work. So there's a large number of uh, things. Tilt, Shift, Focus for photography. These are some free applications, not 32-bit. Um, it's not going to work. If I upgrade to Catalina right now, it works fine. So there's a lot of apps uh, that you're simply going to have to do uh, without um, if you upgrade at the Catalina. Um, and that's a big deal. <clears throat> and so like I say, in, in the previous video that I did, I showed you exactly how and I spent a little bit more time on showing you how to find them all. But what you need to consider now is, you know, do I upgrade to Catalina? This is going to cut off a lot of applications and may give over more information to Apple. And it will also move you towards um, the ability to download uh, iPad apps and uh, iPhone apps, which may not be bad but generally moving towards um, a convergence of uh, operating systems between iOS uh, and uh, macOS, uh, which I don't want to encourage. I like macOS uh, by itself. Um, there's no more iTunes. That's really going to shift our iTunes uh, configuration. We're invested in iTunes, quite a bit of data there. How does this shift uh, change it? I don't know. Uh, Photos is also getting updated with a few things, but really there's not a ton uh, in uh, Catalina that really makes me want to move and, and really makes me uh, consider paying for new software, 64-bit software, for looking for new options. And there probably are new options for all of those. I'm sure, I'm sure uh, 7Z, um, I'm sure 7, 7ZX has a new 64-bit version. I'm sure, uh, you know, well, Cashbox is really old. Let's see, I'm sure, I know Transmit for sure has a new 64-bit option. Um, one thing, of course, like I was saying, that does not have, though, Text Wrangler, I think that uses, uh, what is it, B-Bit now, something like that. I forget the name of this text software, but I like Text Wrangler. It just works. It works along with Transmit, my FTP software. Um, the, the kicker for me is iWeb. I still have one site holding on that uses it. So really, like I say, um, not to um, make this video super long, but that is the, kind of the key reason I'm not upgrading. There's some key apps here that I would otherwise have to spend a lot of man, man hours and spend a fair bit of money to update or upgrade in order to uh, be able to use them in Catalina. And at this point, that is not worth it to me. Um, and certainly, if the customer is happy right now, I'm not going to I'm not going to change things up and uh, you know have to rebuild the whole website from scratch on my own time, unless I could get the customer to pay for it. So these are the things, sorts of things you want to think about when you're looking at Catalina. It's a major shift, significant shift. It's uh, kind of the biggest one so far that I've ever dealt with in terms of do I upgrade or do not I not upgrade, and uh, so it's something to consider uh, when you're uh, looking at that. It looks beautiful. Um, Apple certainly uh, sells it well. Mac OS Catalina, there you go. There's the big splash page from Apple, Apple's website. Um, but is it going to work for you? It certainly doesn't work for me at this point in time. So I'll leave it there, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.